it's in the fridge. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer. Today is like day two of the work from home thing and to be honest, I have always been working from home so it's not that much of a transition but I would still say that during a time like this, it is a little bit more challenging to work from home just because you know your mind is is like in so many different places and especially those people with kids like I just can't imagine having to deal with all of that so it's not that you know if you go to an office you will be distracted but I guess um, the di most of the time the difficulty of working from home is about the start like starting to work from home is always the part that is um, the most challenging and you experience the most procrastination yeah so i'm going to share with you this one tip that i've learned when i was in primary school um the school sent us for like this workshop about like concentration and learning how to study well right yeah and so this course basically the technique that they taught us was that you go into the flow of concentration and the principle is that most people cannot um, concentrate longer on a task longer than 45 minutes so how do you do it like as I mentioned, procrastination is often the worst, like, hurt, like, okay, the most challenging hurdle that you have to get over. So this technique works in a way where you work uh, or you do some work and then you take a break. Basically, you work in um, these chunks. So you have a five minute work chunk. That's what you start off with. So the reason why it's five minutes, I mean, I assume is because, you know, you have that procrastination. So you tell yourself, it's okay. All you have to do is work for five minutes, just five minutes, and then you can take a break. Okay, so what I do is I list down all the things that I think I want to accomplish for the day. And I kind of like split them up into tasks that takes um, a very short amount of time and tasks that requires a long chunk of concentration so you kind of list them down you know from the shortest to the longest and then you also list down stuff that you want to do okay for your break so it can be i want to surf instagram i want to do a tiktok video i want to uh, make myself this snack i want to fold the clothes i want to wash the dishes whatever and one thing I really enjoy about working from home is that I can use my break time to kind of do housework which honestly to me is something that I enjoy because it's kind of like a physical activity that doesn't require you to look at the screen so it's a nice break from that. Yeah, so you always start off with the shortest and the easiest task just to get yourself into the momentum of working. Okay, so every time you go take a break, when you come back to work, you have a longer period of time that you're working on a particular project. I think you can play around with it. It doesn't have to be like specific to this as long as you get like the principle of it. So basically, it's five minutes of work first and then you go in for a second round, you do 15 minutes of work then you do 20 then you do 30 and then you do 45 and then when you hit 45 you go for your break you come back again and if you can you do another 45 then you start to scale it back down so you do 45 30 25 15 10 5 and every time you kind of incentivize yourself by giving yourself a short break now of course if you're like working according to like a schedule or like you have a meeting scheduled here and there or like you're studying and you're in school and you have classes and lessons right you can still apply this principle if you want um, but maybe you can't go through the whole cycle so you can do a 5 minute work 10 15 minute work 30 minute work and then 30 minute 15 minutes 5 minutes kind of like shorten the cycle so i i mean this is this is just something that 
I have found useful for days when I feel really demotivated to work or really stuck in that procrastination cycle and I always pick the tasks that are the easiest to work with first and then progressively once you get into the hit space of you know finding that momentum and that flow of working then you tackle the more difficult tasks so i am going to do some filming for my company of the brave shop and doing some printing so yeah let's do it yep so let's start printing i'm going to print this first and it's a4 